Hello guys and welcome to the video. My name is John and today we'll be going through reinforcement of a concrete staircase. So before you start your reinforcement, you need to prepare your staircase by doing some cut profiles. If you haven't seen this, I did a video of this before. I'll post the link in the description. So you need to do these cut profiles before you begin your reinforcement. So the reinforcement will obviously be different depending on the type of staircase and the code you're using. So today I'll be just doing a simple staircase with uh, just simply supported. So the way I do this is I cut one section for presentation like this, showing the entire staircase. Then I cut, I duplicate and add two more sections for one half and for the other half. You'll find out that if you try to do your reba, Revit only allows you to reinforce one run using one section. So I find it useful to cut two sections so that I'm able to reinforce each run on its own. Yeah, so this one, I'll use it for detailing and placing on the sheets for presentation. So let's jump into this. I'll start with the first run. So I've already done my starter here, my starter area here using cut profile. Check the link in the description. So select the staircase, then click on Reba. So for the staircase, most bars of the staircase, you will need to use sketch Reba up here, placement methods, sketch, sketch. Select your staircase. You'll see the concrete cover green lines. So I'll choose, um, I'll use T10s, partition staircase, that's okay. Then I'll start by drawing my starter bar here. Use the green lines. as a guide, sketch. I prefer to sketch first, then use trim stroke extend to corner to join the bar. This is our starter bar. Finish using the green tick up there. That's our starter bar. So all that's remaining now is to select it, then change its layout up here from single to maximum spacing of a spacing of your choosing. I'll use 150. That's my starter bars. Continue sketching your other bars, Reba. Placement methods, use sketch. Partition should be staircase. So I'll talk more about this partition when I talk about the Reba schedule. Sketch, select your staircase. For your Reba. Feel free to use the green concrete cover lines as your guide. Yeah, I prefer to draw it in parts, then use trim extend to corner to join the parts. Then you'll have 
one bar, one continuous bar. Make sure the bar is continuous in every piece and that it's joined and there are no overlapping lines. Otherwise, it won't finish. Finish using your green tick. Feel free to select these. Then do maximum spacing. I'll be using 150 for this exercise. There you have it. Select your staircase again. Reba. Then use sketch. Select your staircase. Sketch this bottom. Is B1, T1. Join using trim extent to corner. And there you have it. Finish using the green tick. You can select these and do a maximum spacing of your choosing. E.g. 150. And there you have it, your main buzz. Make sure to regularly save your work. So for the distribution buzz, it's a bit easier since you don't have to sketch them. Select your staircase, click on Reba again, then choose your Reba shape. In this case, I can use one. You can also use 21, depending on your type of staircase. I'll use one. Make sure you change the placement plane from parallel to a work plane to perpendicular to cover so that it appears as, as a dot, like so. Place, just place one on the cover. This is so that Revit knows how to align it. Select it, maximum spacing. I'll do 150 still. And there you have it. Revit populates the entire staircase with distribution bars. You can now select these bars and move them using your move tool up here. Move and move these. Just remove constraint so that you can move this perpendicularly. Make sure constraint is off. And there you have it. Your distribution bars. We also need some distribution bars below these tops. I normally prefer to select and copy these. like that, then simply select and using these grip arrows. Just reduce the extents. It's easier this way, rather than drawing them from scratch. There you have it. It's easier since it comes with the partitions and the maximum spacing. You can also do the same for the tops up here. Just copy this perpendicularly, then select and use the grip arrows. Use the grip arrows to specify the extents. There you have it. Feel free to save your work. We also need some distribution bars here. You can place these either on the, this landing or 
the other landing for the other run here. You can do this here on this landing, or you can do this here on this landing. The choice is yours. So select Reba. Just place one. Select it and do maximum spacing of your choice. Yeah. Feel free to move this up and stretch it as required. There you have it. You can copy these up. So whenever you can copy your reinforcement, it's always easier to do so. There you have it. Now you can go to the other section and work on the other, the other landing, the second, the second run. As I said, the section will only allow you to work on one run at a time. So our main run here will be for presentation purposes and annotations, but the reinforcement will be done on two separate runs. So this is the first run, which we've just done. So now let's finish the second run. So select your staircase, choose Riba, click on sketch, then select your staircase again. So remember, as I say, these reinforcements, the way you sketch it, depends on your type of staircase and also the, the code that you're utilizing. So you can extend this towards the slab and finish using your green tick. You can select these now and do maximum spacing, 150. Select your staircase again, Reba. Click on sketch as your placement method. Select your staircase again. You can sketch the top bar. Finish using the green tick. Make sure you do maximum spacing. There you have it. So let's do the top bar now, this side, sketch again, select this. Finish using your green tick. You can also choose to draw all the bars one by one, then select all of them after and do maximum spacing once. So now then for the distribution bars, Reba, still use my one. Place it, then select it, do maximum spacing, 150. There you have it. You can select these and move it, just like we did on the other run. There you have it. So copy these for these distribution bars. Copy. And 
and then use your grip arrows to align these accordingly. Copy. Using the grip arrows, make sure that this is correctly aligned. And there you have it. That's the staircase reinforcement. Feel free to save your work and you can go now back to the main section that shows both reinforcements. And you'll be able to see your staircase there fully. So now what's remaining is to detail these and put it on the sheet which we're going to cover in another video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch more of this content, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you on the next one.